The State of the Union is a chance for the President to have a conversation with the American people, but it's also a chance for him to open up the lines of communication with the new Congress, a Congress that is now controlled entirely by Republicans. Hi, everybody. In his weekly address, President Obama touched on what the country can expect to hear during his seventh State of the Union speech. Job growth and the falling rates of unemployment are at the top of the list. That's what I'll focus on in my State of the Union. Also expected, immigration reform and his new plans for cutting costs of education. Local members of Congress are speaking out ahead of the president's speech. Congressman Ron Kind is looking forward to hearing the president's plan regarding education. I'm sure the president's going to have a lot to talk about, about the investment we have to make in human beings again to make sure that they have the skills, they have the education to compete in a global environment. Kind, as well as Congressman Sean Duffy, hope this speech is a gateway to a partnership between the White House and Congress. I hope he has a bipartisan tone, not just at the State of the Union, but uh, his actions outside of those words are still going to be bipartisan. The president has also called for bipartisanship, but once this congressional honeymoon is over, it remains to be seen what exactly the president and this new Congress will agree on. Reporting in Washington, I'm Alex Miller.